Hi, my name is Patricia Sanford and I'm director of the Maryland Archaeological Conservation Lab. Sometimes archaeologists find pieces of pottery that have printed or impressed marks on the reverse. And those marks are generally put there by the manufacturers and can provide us with information about who made them and those can help us date those ceramics. Let's look at marks from two English-made ceramic vessels from the early 19th century. This soup plate with a blue Rococo edged rim has an impressed mark on its reverse. The initials D, D, and CO, and the word Castleford indicate that it was made by David Dunderdale and Company in business between 1790 and 1821 in Castleford, a town in West Yorkshire. This plate has been decorated with a printed pattern showing the Boston Athenaeum, the oldest independent library in the United States. The printed mark on the back of the plate states the name of the pattern, which is also the name of the building, and that this pattern was part of the Beauties of America series. The name below the mark indicates the plate was made by John and William Ridgway of Hanley, England, in operation between 1814 and 1830. I easily found this dating and identification information on a website, thepotteries.org, which is a comprehensive source on pottery manufactured in the Staffordshire region in England. So each of these three vessels that are 20th century uh, pieces of ceramic have marks on the back. So let's take a look at those marks and figure out what they can tell us about what these vessels date to and where they were made. So both of these small bowls are printed with the blue willow pattern, which is a very popular and long standing pattern that first came out in the 70s. has a printed mark that says Japan, and this one has a mark that says Willow Ware by Royal China under glaze M54. The Royal China Company in Sebring, Ohio was in business between 1934 and 1986, something that was very easy to find out just by doing a simple Google search. This vessel has a lot more information uh, on it than this one, which just says Japan. And the only thing that I can really tell you about this piece is that it was made in Japan sometime after 1921, based on the mark that's on it. Now this plate uh, with these painted apples on it has got a mark that says Blue Ridge, hand painted under glaze, Southern Potteries, Inc. made in the USA. So Blue Ridge is the name of the pattern uh, the, with the apples on it. And it was made by the Southern Potteries Company. Um, and this pattern, this Blue Ridge pattern, was produced between the 1930s and 1957. Again, something easily found out uh, through a Google search. There are lots of things, um, many things that you can find out very easily online. And you can do this with your own pottery or china at home. Thank you, and we hope you've enjoyed learning more about Ceramic Makers Marks. Please check out this activity below, and we'll see you next STEAM Sunday.